Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Mike Atkinson and we are here in the Animal Hospital at Brookfield Zoo, uh, where in honor of National Vet Tech Week, we thought we would bring you behind the scenes and bring the zoo to you uh, with a look at our fishing cat exam that we're doing today. So this little guy right here is Chet, one of our uh, older male fishing cats, and uh, Chet is actually having an examination today as part of a, what we call a pre-shipment exam. So. Uh, Chet is getting ready to depart Brookfield Zoo and head to the Oklahoma City Zoo. So today's exam is just focusing on making sure that he's healthy and that there's no medical concerns or considerations before we uh, move into Oklahoma. Um, as part of that, we're also taking advantage of the opportunity to just do some routine preventative medical care, um, teeth cleaning, routine blood work check, full physical exam, all of these different things. And uh, really, we can't make these exams happen without our wonderful vet techs. And we are so lucky to have such an incredible team of veterinary technicians or veterinary nurses here at Brookfield Zoo that are uh, such a key and critical part of our team. So we're incredibly grateful for the awesome team that we have here at the zoo. And we wanted to take the chance today to share with you a little bit about uh, what our veterinary technicians do, what they're involved with on a day-to-day -day basis, and uh, kind of what, what it means to be a vet tech at a zoo. So. Our veterinary nurses um, really are involved in all aspects of our animal care here. So you can see Ashley, one of our vet techs, working here on Chet's teeth. Uh, this is the same as when you or I go to the dentist and we have just a prophylactic dental cleaning. Uh, we do the same thing with our animals here at the zoo. So right now, Ashley is uh, scaling the teeth to remove any tartar buildup that may be occurring on those teeth. And then uh, once she's done with that, uh, We'll uh, polish those teeth up and uh, Shet will have a wonderful, uh, beautiful white pearly smile when we're done here. Um, you can hear kind of that high pitched squealing in the background. That's actually the instrument Ashley is using there is called an ultrasonic scaler. And it's basically the tip vibrates at a very high frequency to help push um, and knock that part off of the teeth. Um, Mary Ann here is our supervisory veterinary technician and Mary Ann just uh, placed a catheter, intravenous catheter there in the back leg of uh, Chet so we can get some intravenous fluids going to him to support him through this anesthesia today. Um, these are just some of the, the things that our vet techs do on a daily basis as far as catheter placements, blood collection, sample collection, and uh, overall uh, e exam help for us while we're working through whatever procedure may be taking place. And that includes everything from surgical support to taking x-rays, uh, helping with ultrasound examinations, um, all of the different facets that, that make up a real comprehensive exam. Um, when we finish one of these exams, you know, we often bring you behind the scenes and let you see the exams underway, but what we don't always showcase is kind of what happens after the exams, and that's just another area that our uh, vet techs play a key role in. Um, all of the samples that we collect in terms of blood samples and other diagnostic uh, tests that we need to run on the animals to make sure they're healthy, our vet techs play a key role in, in getting those lab tests done back in our lab here. We have a very comprehensive lab here in the hospital that uh, our vet techs operate for us. And then they're also involved in the recovery of these animals. So if it's a patient like today um, with Chet, he'll wake up. Uh, Marianne and Ashley will monitor him through the anesthesia recovery and then uh, help get him transported back to the building, back to his normal enclosure. Um, if it's an animal that maybe needs a little more intensive medical care that stays with us here in the hospital for a little period of time, um, it's our veterinary technicians that provide that daily care and, and um, monitoring of the animals while they're here in the hospital to make sure that they're recovering them well from whatever illness may be affecting them. Uh, Dr. Warren is uh, here uh, uh, helping me with the exam today. Dr. Warren is one of our veterinary residents, so she's in the final year of a three-year training program um, that's uh, helping her to specialize in zoo and wildlife medicine. So, uh, Dr. Lauren completed the exam on chat while uh, Ashley and Marianne are working on uh, some of the support functions here. And, uh, just for those of you that may be joining us a little bit later, just want to let you know that this is National Veterinary Technician Week. So if you haven't already taken the opportunity to thank a vet tech that's in your life um, that may be helping with your pets or um, some of the animals in your world, um, please take the moment this week to let uh, the veterinary technicians at your veterinarian's office know how much they mean to you and how much you appreciate the, the care that they provide for your animals. Uh, we really couldn't do what we do here at the zoo on a, a daily basis without our wonderful team of veterinary technicians. 
Uh, they are involved in all aspects of what we do here in the hospital on a daily basis. Um, and they play a key role in keeping the animals here at Brookfield Zoo healthy and happy. Uh, some of the other things that we're going to be doing with Chet today um, is uh, you can see Dr. Lauren just taking a good listen to his chest there. So this is all just part of a really comprehensive physical examination to make sure Chet is healthy. Uh, we mentioned earlier that he's getting ready to depart Brookfield Zoo and head to the Oklahoma City Zoo. Um, and as part of that, we're just making sure that he's in good health and good condition. Um, you can see up there on the teeth that Ashley is... Uh, switched instruments it has now got the polisher going so this is pretty much the exact same thing that you have done at your dentist's office when they polish your teeth with uh, the uh, kind of usual usually it's a bubble gum or a grape flavored paste or at least at my dentist it's bubble gum flavored um, for the veterinary applications we've got some uh, more interesting flavors as far as some uh, beef and chicken flavored polish that is probably not something you or I would really enjoy having our teeth polished with but uh, for our animals here at the zoo, it's uh, not a bad taste to wake up with in their mouth. Um, one of the things that unfortunately we, we can't share with all of you at home today is, is the, the smell vision part of what we're doing here today. So uh, fishing cats are, uh, uh, have a very strong scent. So um, that's something that unfortunately we can't pass through the phone to those of you that are at home. But for those of us that are standing here today, it's always, uh, you can always tell when the fishing cat's been in the hospital just by the kind of strong musky smell that they leave behind. Um, fishing cats are native to Southeast Asia. Um, they're a vulnerable population that's decreasing in the wild. Um, there's less than 3,000 of these animals left in the wild. So they are part of a species survival program in zoos. Um, and as part of that, uh, the, the management of these animals is really optimized so that we not only keep them in the best health possible, but also that we try and support reproduction. And uh, Chet himself has had three uh, surviving offspring um, that will go on to continue to, to maintain a sustainable population of fish and cats and zoos um, to make sure that we've got the resources and the abilities to help support these animals and their conservation in the wild. Um, you can see they're kind of a medium-sized cat. One thing that kind of doesn't necessarily match their body size is their tail length. They've got kind of a shorter tail than what you might expect on a cat this size. Um, they're really well adapted for, for diving in the water. We always think of cats as hating being wet, or we think of cats as, you know, really, you, know, you don't give a cat a bath very easily. Um, but fishing cats are really the opposite of that. They love being in the water. They're great swimmers. Okay, sorry about that everyone. It looks like we're having some uh, significant internet connection issues today, so we lost the live stream, but we wanted to just uh, thank you all for joining us today as part of uh, National Vet Tech Week and having the chance to come behind the scenes with us here at the Animal Hospital to see some of the wonderful work that our veterinary technician team does every day. Um, Marianne and Ashley, uh, thanks for uh, taking such good care of Chet today and as well as for all the wonderful work that you guys do every single day. We really um, are so incredibly grateful to the wonderful team of veterinary technicians that we have here at the zoo. So um, we're finishing up with Chet's exam here and uh, we'll get him recovered from anesthesia and back over to uh, his normal home. And again, thank you all so much for joining us today. Um, we hope to see you out here at the zoo soon and uh, continue to see you online. Take care.